Hello and welcome to DCA TV. I'm your host, Salika J, and I'm here today with Dr. Thomas Rolfes, dentist from the practice of Smiles for OC in Costa Mesa, California. Dr. Thomas Rolfes received his Doctor of Dental Surgery from the Georgetown University. Dr. Rolfes has been providing dental care at Smiles for OC in Costa Mesa location since 1984. Dr. Thomas Rolfes' credentials and memberships include California Dental Association, California State Dental Association, Fellowship of Academy of General Dentistry, Orange County Dental Society, Internet Dental Alliance member, American Dental Association, Fellowship of World Clinical Laser Institute. We are delighted to speak to Dr. Rolfes today on sedation dentistry. Welcome, Dr. Thomas Rolfes, to DCA TV, and thank you for being on the show today. Thanks for having me. Dr. Rolfes, can you tell us what is sedation dentistry? Uh, I can, and, and, and I should probably preface that by saying that that fear of, of, the, of the dental experience is, is really the most significant uh, barrier to quality dental care. Um, so with sedation dentistry, you know, we have the ability to put people in an altered and more comfortable state to accomplish their, their dentistry um, with the pursuit of, of a quality outcome. Is sedation safe? Uh, sedation is very safe. As a matter of fact, uh, um, statistically and research shows us that sedated patients are actually in, a, in a, is treating them is much safer than a non-sedated patient and the reason is we can we monitor heart rate and blood pressure um, but when people are in a relaxed state they do better and and their their level of anxiety is lower which down regulates certain hormones and they're actually in a much much safer than if they were not sedated what is the most common method of sedation so I, I should probably answer that by saying the most common uh, method of sedation is inhalation anesthesia or just the use of nit nitrous oxide and use nit nitrous oxide because it's very safe, it's very easy to administer and as soon as a patient stops breathing it, they're, they're back to the normal state. They can drive a car, uh, they, they can function normally. So that's the most common. but. Really Really, there are three types. The second is uh, with a little bit of oral sedation, a little pill, an anti-anxiety pill, and that, that's commonly used in dentistry. And that, that helps people. We usually combine that with a little nitrous oxide, uh, but it just puts them in a mild, altered state and makes them more comfortable so, so they can have their, their dentistry done. The, the third technique uh, is uh, intravenous anesthesia. Uh, you have to have a special license for that. Um, I've had that license for about 30 years now, but that's where we actually start an IV and give the, the patient medications uh, through an IV that make them relax and comfortable and, and basically they fall asleep. And, and that's really the most effective way um, to sedate a patient. So I hope that answers that question. What kinds of uh, sedatives are used when sedation dentistry is performed on patients? Well, we discussed that. We use the, the, the types of sedatives. The, the simple sedatives are like nitrous oxide and then uh, oral medication, much like Valium. Um, and then we give the, the intravenous drugs, and that's usually a drug called Versed and usually a narcotic like Demerol or fentanyl. Um, and, and we have combinations of those medications. But the idea is to just make our patients relaxed and comfortable. Will I feel pain? Interestingly enough, uh, the reason we sedate people is to deal with fear, uh, anxiety, and pain. So uh, all of these drugs that we give, um, especially in combination, are, are great for inhibiting and masking Pain. We also use local anesthetic when we're doing procedures, but but yes, a lot of these drugs are that we give are pain management drugs. So, for instance, uh, when when we go give a local anesthetic, most of our patients don't even remember us giving them a, an injection or a shot because their pain is managed, their anxiety is managed. So, 
dentistry for everybody? It's not for everybody, but I would say it's for 95% of the population. So if, if, if a patient wants to be sedated and, and they think it's something that, that experience easier, more enjoyable, then I would say yes. The only person might not be uh, appropriate for it is someone who's very medically compromised if they have liver problems or kidney problems or breathing problems. And in that case, a lot of times we'll use a general anesthetic where they're intubated or we take them to a hospital. But the short answer is yes. It really, almost any patient can be sedated safely and effectively and it can really help them, you know, to get quality dental outcomes.